What's up guys, Danger Ego Channel here, Danger Speaking, and Kurt, and today we're going to be doing the next episode of the Tracking the Cyber series. Yep, all kinds of well, we... fun stuff to do, so uh, today we're going to be having a three copy versus three copy duel of the Link Strike Starter Deck. So this is going to be basically the last episode of this, we may have one or two other episodes using the Link Strike decks, but after that, they will be retired and we will be moving on to the next deck. So, without any further ado, let's get started. As always, let's let the best person win. Okay, and now for a handy dandy little dice roll. I'm not gonna say high roll, just so we can... If I can get the dice out. <laughs> High roll, huh? High roll. Okay. I got a one. And I got a six. Well, it looks like you most definitely have choice. And I'm going to say that my opponent's going first. Isn't that fun? I'm so kind. So, lovely. Both of my happy little calculators need charge. Isn't that fun? I can keep track of that much pretty well. No, you can't. That's me. <laughs> okay, so the 8,000s are set. And you said, I'm gonna go first? Yep. Okay, so. Because I control no monsters, I'm gonna start off by summoning out Link Slayer in attack mode. Mm. Interesting. Then I'm gonna set one card in my spell and trap card zone. And then I'm going to. Normal summon out, my Marauding Captain. Hmm, I see. Now I'm going to activate its special ability to allow me to summon out another <laughs> Marauding Captain. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Yes, yes. Now it's your turn. Three monsters. <laughs> yes. I don't think I'm gonna. Uh, well, first, obviously, I'm gonna draw. Then I'm gonna activate my terraforming spell card. Well, isn't that interesting? This allows me to search my deck for my field spell. Wouldn't you know it? No, that was an easy find. <laughs> On the bottom, was it? Second to last card. Actually, I, I missed the last card. Dropped card. Bad card dropped in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I think from there, I'm just going to place a card face down and activate 
my Cyanite Universe. Okay. Then I'm going to summon to my field Beast King Barbaros. Oh, that's one nineteen hundred. It's only a nineteen when you normal summon it, but that's more than enough to. Okay, wait, I can't take down Marauder Captains or Link Slayer. <laughs> that's a problem. You just realized that, did you? Eh, maybe. Because you can't declare an attack against either Marauder Captain, because the other one says you can target it. Because the other one makes it so that it can't be targeted. And then Link Slayer is a little bigger than you at two thousand. I it see. is a 2000, correct? It is a 2000. Yep, it is. The well, little dots I guess in the way. I, I guess I'm gonna have to end my turn then. I draw. And mm. I'm gonna summon out Mystery Shell Dragon in attack mode. Okay then. Link Slayer, attack the Beast King Barbaros. No, I lost 100 life points. You're gonna be losing a lot more than that. Now, Mystery Shell Dragon, declare an attack! I'm gonna summon my battle fader. See, I, see, when you declare a direct attack, I can special summon it, and as you know, that means I won't have to take any damage from that attack because the attack's negated and ends the battle phase. Arr. Well, in that case, it's your move. Hmm. All right, I draw. Okay, it's not how I want this to go. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a bad draw? I drew a tear for me. <laughs> well. As I said, not exactly how I wanted that to go. And let me just toss another field spell into my hand just in case. Uh, who who would have thought? It's terrifying. Good song. Terrifying. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? Nah, there are fun, funner things I could prefer. I'd much rather prefer anyway. So I get another field spell to my hand. Hmm. And then I'm going to, I'm going to end my turn. I draw a card. Next, I'm gonna set another card in my spell and trap card zone and enter my battle phase. All right. <laughs> so what are you gonna do? Let's see, I added a card to my hand. And I'm going to pass my turn. <laughs> okay, so it's my turn and I draw a card. And I'm going to summon out another Mystery Shell Dragon. You got an army of these things now. <laughs> Marauding Captain, attack the Battle Fader. No, Battle Fader, and it gets removed. Okay. Excellent. Thanks. Now, my other Marauding Captain, declare an attack. I just caught my Swift Scarecrow. Oh. And then negates your attack and ends the battle phase. <sighs> it's your move. Roll. Hmm. I'd like to be able to do a whole lot more. Hmm. Maybe I can. I can plan this out now. Hmm. Hmm. There's more I'd like to do, and not more than I really can do. I think I'm going to play Monster Reincarnate. I'm going to discard my side at Universe. Well, <laughs> since that's the cost, I'm going to activate my Dark Bride card. Negating. I see. But I get the draw card, so... Hmm. I think I'm going to use Sinet Universe's effect. Returning one of my cards from my graveyard back to my deck. And I think I'll return Swift Scarecrow. Hmm. Just in case. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta find a way to get it back somehow. I don't think it will help you. Hmm. Maybe not. Or maybe it will. Who knows? There's not one of those in my hand. So what are you going to do? Right now, I looks like I'm going to have to end my turn. Well... You're ready for the complete onslaught? As ready as I'm going to be. Excellent. I'm gonna enter my battle phase. Marauding Captain, declare an attack. Well, since you entered your battle phase, I think I'll I think I'll finish chain your Link your Link Slayer. <laughs> I know I'll take damage from the Marauding Captain, but they don't do all too much. So you'll take twelve hundred. My other Marauding Captain, declare an attack. 
Mystery Shell Dragons also declare attacks. So I have to take a lot of damage this turn. But now we have to see if I can turn You're at 1500. Around. It's your move. And so now it's time to see if I can turn things around. Alright, draw. Huh. That'll work. Unfortunately, not the way exact, not the exact way I want to do it, but it'll work. I know I'm summon my card, card D. And I'm gonna activate Effect Mailer on it. So it's Effect is negated. That's fine. Because in my hand, I have two Evil Swarm Mandragoras. And since you control more monsters than I do, I can special summon it from my hand. Crap. And if you, and if you didn't know where that was going, I, I guess you're that. right into your deco talker. You're right, it would be a deco. It is time to see him say hello to deco talker. I may not be able to attack your neurotic captains, but everything else on the board is fair game. Hmm. So, for, so I'm going to use my deco talker in order to attack your mystery shell dragon. And I activate my mirror force trap card. Destroying your attacking monster. <sighs> you should have just left it there. It's a problem for me to get over. But that wouldn't have helped you anyways. Next turn you would have summoned your Deco Talker. <laughs> and you'd been playing to a monster while mine would it be? Yes. Is it my move? I think I'm going to use Sunny Inverse's effect. Did you already do that this turn? Or was that last? That was last turn. And this time, I'm going to put that. Hmm. No, 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 I think I'll put back a card. Good card. <laughs> I don't think okay. it's going to help you very much. No, no, it's not. I've most likely, I've, I've already conceded this. I've already conceded how this is going. But I'll Do you wish to conceive then? I shall. Excellent. I had a Beast King Barbaros in my hand anyways. So even if I could do anything... Even if you had left every... Decode around, I would have just gotten rid of it anyways. Mm -hmm. And my next card was a Supply Squad as well. My next turn was another... Ma was uh, apparently another... Uh, Mandragora? Yeah. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's too, they're too close to each other. Well, that's game one. Let's, let's Ready for see. game two, then. Let's see if this thing if things change up. Yes. Considering this is the last time, we'll probably be using these decks. I feel it's only fitting that we do a full match. Indeed, indeed. And if you have the window match, you'll finally have one match. Hey. So. Shush. Hey, 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 that's nothing wrong. They go out with a bang and, and win, so. Right, <laughs> finally take it, because the third time is the charm. So they say. Now, now, now I gotta win this one so we can make it a very fun final match. That's hey. Where's my card? Thank you. Well, you lost, so you have choice. I think, uh... I'm gonna let you go first again. Oh. Yeah. Ambitious. So I'm gonna start off by summoning out my Draco Net in attack mode and activate its special ability. The special on one level 2 or lower normal monster from my hand or deck in defense position. And I'm choosing my deck. Hmm. I see. And I choose Bitron. Definitely level two or lower. Yes. Ooh, but that's not choice. the only thing I'm doing this turn. Huh. Go going full force this time? Because <laughs> I'm going to turn my Bitron into a Link Spider. And then I'm going to activate Link Spider's special ability and summon out yet another Bitron. Ooh. Then I'm going to set one card in my back row. And then I'm going to turn this Bitron into something very fun. Because now my Bitron and my Draconet are going to link up, and I'm going to summon out Honeybot in attack mode. Interesting. And then finally, for my final bit of movement, I'm going to turn both of them into my most powerful monster, the Decode Talker. Interesting, interesting. I gotta make this count then. It's your move. Hmm. Let's see. So it is. I draw. Hmm. 
I'll start by setting one card face down. And then I will special summon my Cyber Dragon from my hand. Okay. So playing a little Zane Shrewsdale game, eh? Hmm, kind of. Next, I'm going to summon to my field, Dragonet. Well, this looks familiar. It should. And by familiar, I mean it's kind of familiar all the way through. But I'm going to do things a little bit differently than you do. See, I'm going, I'm not going to summon what you summon. I'm summoning Galaxy Sip. You actually left that in there? I, f I figure I, I should have a few more targets. I see. Now, you may cut. I may always cut, thank you. But now, Gal you already know what's gonna happen. Galaxy Serpent's gonna turn into a Link Spider. And then Link Spider's ability is gonna activate. I'm gonna special summon another monster. Okay. I special summon Mr. Shell Dragon. Well. I see. But why stop there? Hmm. Okay, so. Now, as I were, again. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make use of Mystery Shell Dragon for a second Link Spider, mainly because I need more than that for the Yes. Well, a second Link Spider. Interesting. And then I'm gonna go into my Deco Talker. And of course, it's 500 bigger than mine. Exactly. And it's gonna take out yours. So my Deco Talker will not take your Deco Talker. Sad. And then you'll take a Cyber Dragon attack to the face. Very painful. Indeed it is. That'll leave me at 5400. And then I end my turn. I draw. And I'm gonna activate the spell card. Dark Hole, destroying your entire field. <laughs> At least with monsters, anyways. Next, I'm gonna set another monster on my field to end my turn. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. I think I'll end my turn for now. I draw. Hmm. And I'm gonna activate Supply Squad. And end my turn. Hmm. I think I'll end my turn. I draw. And next, I'm going to activate Mystical Space Typhoon, targeting this card and destroying it. Hmm. Well. I like you can make use of it this time. Next, I'm going to normal summon out my Beast King Barbarosis. Hmm. Beast Big King, monster. attack! I'm going to special summon my Battle Fitter, negating your attack and ending the Battle Fitter. Uh, it's your move. Since you control more monsters than I do, I will special summon from my hand, Evil Swarm Mandragora. Well, hmm. And then next, I'll tribute off both my monsters. Naturally, you'd wait for three, but you kind of uh, took away my plan there for my third monster. Well, the Beast well. King Barbers. But since I tribute some of him properly, he has 3,000 attack points, unlike yours. So mine's going to attack your Beast King Barbarus! Ouch. And you'll take 1,100 points of damage. That's not very nice. Right now. But at least I get to draw a card through the Supply Squad. And then it's your turn. I draw. And then I'm going to set one card in my Spell and Trap card down and end my turn. Barbarus, attack! Looks like you've attacked into my marshmallow, inflicting a thousand points of damage to you. Looks like I finally struck some damage on you. For well, now, I believe it's your turn. So I draw, and I'm gonna activate my Cyanet Universe spell card. Hmm. Then I'm gonna activate a special ability, allowing me to shuffle one of the monsters in my in my graveyard back into. That. And I think I'm gonna shuffle in my Pitron! Not a bad choice. But 
<laughs> really? I mean, it's not It's your move. Oh, that's another card face down and end my turn. I draw. Then I'm gonna activate the effect of Sign at Universe once again. And on this time, I'm going to shuffle my Draco net back. One more card face down and end my turn. I draw. And I'll set another card face down. Then I'll shuffle back. Slowly getting your cards back. Yes. Then I think I'm gonna shuffle back my bitch draw. Pretty soon I'll have everything back. Not soon. You really don't cut decks often, do you? It's your move. Hmm. Hang on, there's one last card face down it in my turn. I draw. Next, I'm going to set one monster and end my turn. Alright, Beast King Barbaros is going to attack your other set monster then. You've attacked my Beast King Barbaros. <laughs> Luckily, he can be tribute set without needing tributes. So I'm going to get the draw card due to Supply Squad. I see. My move? I would have to say it is your move. I draw. And next, I'm gonna shuffle in. Nothing yet. First, though, I'm gonna start off by summoning out my Draco Net in attack mode oh. and activating its special ability, allowing me to pull out my Bitch Rock. I see. I think I know where this is going. Do you? Because next, I'm also going to special summon my Evil Swarm Mandragora. Exactly. You can't. You have to have, I, you have to have oh, less you're right. than I do. My mom, my, my, I mean, I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't exist. Okay. Next, I'm going to use my Bitron and my Draco Net. Summon out a honey bot attack mode. Hmm. And I think I'm gonna activate my mystical space type food, destroying your assignment universe. Hmm. See, by doing so, I also get rid of your link monster. Well, well. And I'll get the draw card to the supply squad. Next, I'll activate Burden of the Mighty. Hmm. Trying to make my monsters weaker, are we? And then I'll activate not one, but two called the Haunted. Summoning back not one, but two of my Beast King Barbaros. Well, I'm going to Bottomless Trap Hole, at least one of them. Oh, I'm going to Bottomless Trap Hole that one. Well, well. Move from the game. Well, Barbaros, it looks like you're going to be sitting there for a little bit. Or maybe not. Barbaros, attack! I activate my Mirror Force! Arr. Well, looks like I'm going to have to end my turn. Yeah, I'm going to have to And I activate my turn. Which allows me to get my... 
It's amazing what happens when the rules are reversed, doesn't it? You have too many turns of back row set up. I get my side of first. Okay, so. So. What are you gonna do now? I think I'm gonna take care of my marshmallow problem. Finish change. <sighs> now Beast King Barbaros can take down your marshmallow without you getting anything in return. So Barbaros, attack marshmallow. But I will get a card due to supply score. True. Then I guess I'll end my turn. I draw. And I'm going to activate the effect of my evil form Mandragora because you control more monsters than I do. Fair enough. Next, I'm going to summon out Marauding Captain and use its special ability to summon out Effect Failure in attack mode. Then, I'll set one card face down, and equip my Evil Swarm Mandragora with United We Stand. That's a lot of attack points. Oh, yes it is. So let's see, you're dropped by 800, correct? Correct. And I'm increased by 24. <laughs> Mandragora, attack the Barbaros! I'm gonna activate my Forbidden Lance. Now your now your evil swarm Mandragora is unaffected by the effects of spells and traps, and it loses 800 attack points. What? Which means your Mandragora has almost no attack points. What? 15, 50, 50. naturally, so it dropped it by seven. 850 attack versus my 22. And I'll take more damage now. I'm trying to calculate how much. Um, bad at math. <laughs> My AR versus uh, 22. 13.50. It'll leave me at 29.50. But at least I'll get the draw card through the supply squad. For sure. That's what the only card your move. And now you have a monster in attack mode. And I think I'll, I'll play a very similar move that you did. Since you control more monsters than I do, I'll special on mine. The Evil Swarm Magic Gore. How much fun it would be if I could do more. Alright. Let's see. I think I'm gonna have to be it. I think I'm going to use the fact of my sign at universe first. And by doing so, I'm going to turn in my deck. I think I'm going to turn my mystery shell. Well, what? Uh... You have to attack your back mailer. With my evil swarm Mandragora. So I'll take another 1550. Well, I'll you'll take a little less because of her. Oh, yes. So, you'll take so I'll 11 take 1150. That'll leave me 1800. But now my 22 will attack your marauding captain. Arr. You'll take another thousand more points of damage. And I'll also get a card from Supply Squad. Oh, you only got one for one kill. Yes. And, and then it's your turn. I draw. Then I'll activate another copy of Supply Squad. Hmm. So now you'll get two cards when I go to yes. this guy if I have to pull it. Next, I'm going to, next, I'm going to activate the effect of Jar of Avarice. Hmm. So you have five One, blue cards. Two. Three. Four. I think I'll leave this in the grave for now. Hmm. 
and shuffle these five back in. Then I'll get the draw card. I see it now. Now then. Now I'll set another card on my field. Good job, I just well, Of course, it's like, shut up. And then I'll activate the effect of my Link Slayer. Because I don't control any monsters. Then, I'll set another monster on my field. Ah. Link Slayer, attack the Evil Swarm. So let's see, 20... Versus eleven fifty. I take eight fifty. Yes. More damage is good. I'll put you at sixty one fifty. To my eight hundred. You only have eight hundred left. Well, I would know that. This is more than I thought. All right. Beast King Barbaros attack his Link Slayer. I don't think so, because I'm going to activate Fiendish Chain. Uh, I'm going to activate my Mystical Space Typhoon. Grr. Destroying it. And so then I'll take another 200. Indeed. And draw two cards. You must be getting it. You must be really enjoying that draw fancy. <laughs> you don't even know. It's your turn. I draw. I'm gonna set a card in my spell and trap card zone and then normal summon out my mystery shell dragon. Then I'll flip summon my Ryko Light Sworn Hunter so you're gonna and destroy, destroy your Barbaros. Beast King Barbaros. And then I'll lose three cards from the top of my deck. Next, I'll equip United We Stand onto my Ryko Light Sworn Hunter. Giving it an extra 1600. Making him where it has 1800 attack? Yes. Ryko, attack! <sighs> Mystery Shell, attack! <sighs> that leaves you at 2350. Hmm. It's your move. I special summon from my. Link Slayer. Well, well. And I'm gonna use Link Slayer's special ability. You see, by sending any number, I can send up, I can discard up to two cards and then target that many number of spell traps on the field and destroy them. What? So I'm gonna use his ability to destroy United We Stand in a set card by sending two cards from my hand to the grave. Well, I'm gonna activate this Mystical Space Typhoon in Chain and destroy your Cyanite Universe. That's fine, as long as I have no... It's target to, um... Yeah. Now, my Link Slayer will attack Raikou for the, fi for the finish. Attack! Yep, that's game. I was long, hard, and drawn out. Indeed it was. Jeez. Wow, looks like we have one game left. Don't we? Yep. What is it? But this game, but this one's at least this has been a real fight this time. Oh heck yeah, it has. <laughs> Better reset life points. Yeah, good idea. Come on, turn on. Thank you. So what do you think? Are we too evenly matched? <laughs> Very funny card. Yes, the pun is real. I'd, I'd, I'd say that we had to find out what to do this last duel. Yes, that was a very powerful first game for me. And then the second game, long, drawn out. I'd let you get one too many turns of setup. I think I'm going to go first one more time. 
Third time's the charm. <laughs> and I'm gonna start off by playing Terraforming. Well, I'm gonna search out Psynet Universe. Come here. Next, I'm gonna activate said Simon Universe, and then set one card in my spell trap card down. And then I'm going to normal. Then I'm gonna special summon my Link Slayer because I don't control the monsters. Hmm. Then I'm going to normal summon Sanjin in attack mode. Interesting start. Yes. So is it my turn now? Yes, it is. I roll. I'm going to activate not one, but two supply squads. Well. Then I'm going to set a card to face down. Next, I'm going to special summon my Cyber Dragon, because I control no more than you do. Uh. Now, Cyber Dragon will attack your Lick Slayer. Sure doesn't do a lot of damage, but... The hit is the small number that counts too. I don't think I'm going to pass the easy. I draw. Hmm. I'm going to put my Sanjin in defense mode. Hmm. And then I'm going to set one monster and end my turn. I draw. Cyber Dragon attacks a set monster. You destroyed my Beast King Barbaros. Hmm. I guess I'll have to end my turn for now. I draw. And I'm gonna activate my own supply squad. And then set another monster. My turn. Yes. Hmm. I'll set a card face down and have Cyber Dragon attack your face down. You've destroyed my bitch on allowing me to draw a card in the supply squad. Then it's your turn. I draw. Next, I'll set another monster on my field and end my turn. Is that all you can do? Cyber Dragon, attack the set monster! You've destroyed my Raiko Lightsworn Hunter! Raiko, destroy the Cyber Dragon! I get to draw two cards. Are you sure you get one, but I get two. And then I must send the top three cards of my deck to the graveyard. But I, but there is a thing to notice me with these two. And since now we're going to it, and you control more monsters than I do, I can summon my evil swarm manager Gora from my hand. Well. Next, I'm going to summon my marauding captain. And as you already know about captains, they don't like to come alone. Well, well. And I think for now I can let it be your turn. I draw. Now I'm going to activate Mystical Space Type and destroy one of your supply squads. I see. Trying to limit down my resources on Yes. Next, I'm going to summon out my Mystery Shell Dragon in attack mode. Hmm. Mystery Shell, attack the Evil Swarm! I still have a card. And you're I still going to take 450. Mm -hmm. Being the first one to take damage during this game, right? Nope. Nope, I took damage earlier. That's right. You did 100. Yes. You didn't take a lot. Let's do our move. And I'm going to activate Mystery, Mystical Space Typhoon on your face down. There's no point in allowing you to draw an extra card. No, definitely not. But, I'm going to activate my Call of the Haunted to bring back Cyber Dragon. Well, well. But I'm not done with that. Next, I'm going to hang. Next, I'm going to summon my Battle Fader. Yes, I did say I'm sorry about that. Just in case you were wondering if I lost my mind. And equipping my Cyber Dragon with the Nutty We Stand. Well, that's quite a bit of extra power. Gaining 3,200 attack points. Now my 5,300 attack Cyber Dragon will attack Mystery Shell Dragon. That's a lot of damage. And I draw a card, though. Mm. So let's see, I'll take... 30... Uh, let's see, 33 versus 2k, so you take 33. They'll put me 46. Then one of my riding captains will take down Sangan. And I draw and out a I card from my deck. Yes, you get a card. 
15 or less attack. Yes. And I think I'm going to choose Raiko, Light Sworn Hunter. Hmm. My other Marauder Captain, Captain will attack you directly then. Not so fast, because I'm going to activate the effect of Battle Fader in my hand. Special summoning it. Hmm. And then ending the battle phase. Fine, fine. Let's see. Well, for my main phase two. I think I'm going to go into a mix of it. And some for Deco Talker. Well, well. My turn. And then I end my turn. I draw. And for my first move, I'm going to activate the effect of Cyanet Universe. And I'm going to shuffle back my Link Slayer. Gonna normal summon out my Draco Net in attack mode and use its special ability. Special summon out Bitron. Hmm. Next, I'm going to use my Bitron to go into Link Spider. And then from there, I'm going to link away all my all my monsters and summon out my own Deco Talker. All right then. But it looks like you're out of cards to play. Unless you have something in your hand you can activate right now. It's your move. <laughs> and then you lose. You see, because I have yet another call of the haunted. What? Which means I'm bringing back another mon a monster from my graveyard one more time. <sighs> and this time, I have another monster in my hand to play. So I think I'll set one face down here. And now that Cyber Dragon amped up to full power again, he's going to attack your Deco Talker. Attack! Wow, how big is it? He gains 32 again, so he's back at 53. Well, I am a 26, so... Uh, 30, 50, 26, you get 27. Ouch. That puts me at 1900, but I get the draw card. Then that, you better hope that card is worth it, because Deco Talker is attacking directly. Well, too bad I have battle paper. Once again, Blocking any damage. Look, well, it's your turn. I draw. Next, I'm going to set a card in my spell trap card zone, and then set a monster. Next, sign at universe. So I'm going to shuffle back my bitch on. It's your move. I'm going to do a check of battle with my evil swan magic core. And then Sword then, of Dragon. Then, Supply Squad's going to allow me to draw a card. Alright, well then some Cyber Dragon will attack your face down. And you have hit my Raiko Light Sworn Hunter. And I think Raiko is going to destroy your Decode Talker. I'm going to activate Decode Talker's special ability. You see what? Whenever he's turn, whenever a card effect that targets a card I control, I can tribute one of the monsters that he, that he points to and negate that effect. <sighs> so I'm truly my evil swarm man with Gore in order to negate Raiko's effect. And now the Jiko will attack you directly. Should have blew up Sign at Universe. Yeah, actually that would have worked out really well for you because it's if you target one of my cards. Yeah. If, yeah, if you blew up Sign at, you would have been good. Yep. But that is game. Yep. 
Well, well that was a lot of fun. I had a forbidden lance and a scarecrow left in hand. Jeez. Oddly enough, I re I reduced myself down to one of these. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. I took the other one out. I had the issue of... I keep getting spells and traps when I want monsters. And then you get getting monsters when you want spells and traps. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, gotta shake hands anyway. Yeah, that was a good game. Yeah. I also, I also had a dark bribe in case I needed it. Man! In case you, in case you ended up getting another incident with like dark hole or something, like yeah, yeah, no, that was mean. Dark hole doesn't target. I can't, I could decode protect that. <sighs> what the hell? My phone is just randomly making the heart bubble sound. <laughs> I resume. Okay, so uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm Danger and I'm Kurt, and this has been another episode of the Tracking the Cyber series. As always, though, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us where we went wrong. Oh. And of course, soon we'll even show you the deck lists as well. Indeed we will. So, wait for those videos soon. As always, though, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is the Danger Yu-Gi-Oh! channel, signing, signing off. off.